that I don't get banned for making this video because you know what? This drama is getting out of control. But here we are once again. Hopefully this is the last and final drama video that I have to do on this entire subject. But let's jump right into this. So as my gamer disclaimer, everybody, this is not the normal content I make in Pet Sim 99. It's just that these issues are getting completely out of hand, and I just want to make sure all of you guys are aware of what's going on. I mean, for goodness sakes, you can't even go on Discord or Twitter and say anything about Pet Sim 99 that's positive, or you are going to get roasted in the comments section. It's gotten so bad that my buddy Creekcraft has had to make a whole entire video talking about the Pet Sim 99 drama. And my goodness, I mean, we just talked about this a couple of days ago, but you guys remember that YouTuber Sizzles Jelly Queen, one of the richest players in all of Pet Sim 99, has just been removed as a big games partner. I mean, what? And as far as that goes, who knows what the entire situation was with that? I know there was a lot of hate going around and who knows who said what, so I don't really want to speculate much on that. I'm just saying it's crazy all the people that have been speaking out on this. But anyway, let's just jump right into this before I get too sidetracked. So anyways, gamers, there might be a few of you guys watching this video right now going, what in the world is this guy talking about? I have no idea what's up and why in the world do you have a cyber agony following you? Well, that is where the issue comes from, everyone, and that is what everyone is blowing up Twitter and Discord all over the place. But let me just explain the super basic version of this. So, we got the tech chest right here, and obviously from the tech chest, you guys can get yourself a Cyber Agony. And as you guys can see, the Cyber Agony is at 52,000.8 that exist right now, and that is an increase of over 30,000 Cyber Agonies just this week. Matter of fact, there was an exploit going around where the Cyber Agony increased by over 20,000 exist count in a matter of just eight hours. And how did they do that, you might ask? Well, it's kind of complicated, but I mean, the basic version of it is they wrote a little script that allowed them to basically open this tech chest without actually having to use a key. And they did that because I'm assuming from the mastery, if you guys go into the key mastery, you guys have a couple of things where you can do to open up a tech chest, get your key back. And then if you guys scroll down here to level 90, there's a 10% chance to keep your tech key after opening a tech chest. And obviously that code is in the game. So there's a chance you can open this tech chest without using a key. And like like I said, who knows how it actually happened, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Exploiters figured it out. They started opening this tech chest and started getting thousands upon thousands of this cyber agony. Gamers, there's even a phone call of the exploiters talking about how easy this was and how many cyber agonies they were actually getting from the tech chest. They were saying they were getting over thousands per hour. It was absolutely insane. They were even saying things like, oh man, we don't want to talk about this exploit too early because we want to make sure that we get paid. And that, that is just, that's, that's unreal. And you can obviously see why a bunch of people were upset about this. However, there is some light at the end of the tunnel and it's actually some good news for the game, but stick around for that. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But before we jump into all this drama, let me do a quick giveaway real fast and then we'll get back to it. Sleepy2134, I just started last week and I'm enjoying the game a ton. Hopefully the cheaters don't break the game too badly. You know what, Sleepy? I think all of us can agree with that. Anyways, JacobMan727, enjoy your brand new huge happy computer. Thank you so much for the comment and being subscribed. Boom. Boom, boom, and of course, are you super sure? Yes, I am. And of course, everybody, booyah. As always, gamers, if you guys want me to send you some stuff, all you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video, and make sure you guys put your Roblox name in the comment section. So let's go ahead and start things off with a fresh perspective about somebody who does not play this game on a consistent basis every single day, and let's see what their opinion is on the whole situation. And of course, I'm talking about my good friend and amazing YouTuber, Creekcraft. <laughs> now, we're not gonna watch the entire video, just a couple of parts, but I want you guys to see what a fresh perspective has to say about this entire situation all right and here we go let's do it let's talk about the pet smitter 99 drama because it's so bad that some players have started burning their plushies burning their plushies burning them you are so mad at pet simulator 99 that you're like forget this i'm gonna burn my 250 dollar plush I find that absolutely crazy. No matter how mad I am at something, I'm not gonna burn something that I spent money on. Anyway, let's keep going. 99 plushie, and this man lit it on fire. <laughs> you know it's a bad day for Pet Simulator when people start lighting their $250 plushies. On. Yes! You no, know, if you're like me, you might be confused as to what's going on. What is this drama? So let me get you caught up to speed. So all this pretty much started last Saturday with- Now, we're not gonna cover this part because you guys already know kind of what the drama is. It's the cyber agony that was causing this issue. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. These exploiters 
the rarest pets in the game in exchange for information. And this has made a lot of people really, really mad. Yep. I'm asking the question, why are you going to give hackers the rarest pets in the game? Why don't you just ban the hackers? Why aren't you rewarding hackers for this kind of behavior? And well, for the people that don't know, this kind of stuff isn't actually that uncommon. A lot of big companies, even Roblox, will have programs where they will pay exploiters, they will pay hackers to help them fix exploits and bugs. It's white hat hacking. And yes, Creek Crab is right. That's a normal thing that happens within video games. Like not just Roblox, just gaming in general. They want to find out if their game is solid and any hacks that people can find, that just helps them make the game a lot better. Anyway, let's keep going. So you pay a hacker to hack you so that you can fix the problem that allowed the hacker to hack you in the first place. Does that make sense? It's kind of like Thanos using the stones to destroy the stones. Love that reference. Why are people so mad about this? This. why are people so upset about this why are people burning their plushies over this well it comes down to what pet simulator is for a lot of people it is a trading game it is a collecting game a lot of people spend a lot of time and a lot of money collecting and buying the rarest pets in the game and there it is a fresh perspective on the game that is the exact reason why everyone is so upset about this those exploiters were given free items for basically exploiting the game and getting a bunch of huge pets and now everyone that actually plays the game on a consistent basis all the people that have spent all that money on the game getting some of the most rare pets in the game just for them to be outdone by a hacker is the reason that everybody is so upset at this whole situation and it's wild what big games actually said in response to all of this and also i wanted to stop here on this video because a youtuber by the name of alpha gg was the one that put them in contact with the pet simulator dev team and he was given a whole bunch of items in order to do that sort of thing and it's crazy because this is his booth selling all of these items that was given to him by those hackers i mean 4,995 boost slot vouchers and 135,000 gems apiece. I mean, this YouTuber is going to come out of this making over 10 billion gems from the whole situation. Let's keep going. Started hacking the game in response, literally promoting Roblox hacks just because, hey, well, if those hackers got some free maybe if i hack the game i'll get some free pets too and yes once again that is another problem is it kind of opened the door for all sorts of hackers to be like hey well if i get free stuff then i should just hack the game it's actually kind of wild but the situation it gets crazier because big games responded to the drama this guy right here named josh i'm not really sure who he is i think he runs the big games youtube channel it's a big games verification mark up there so he works at big games he tweeted out and he said so much negativity in the yep. post letter 99 community i think the majority of it stemmed from the clan situation it did not it was not because of the clan situation and okay delete the rainbow shiny titanics that you gave the exploiters who abused the glitch and got twenty thousand huges for free that they still have Th that this guy could not have said it any better that's exactly what the community wanted just get rid of the pets or make them untradeable that's all you had to do and then he replied no no that is the official big games response to this ouch to this situation. ouch boring topic next i'm not an expert at pr Whew. public relations okay i didn't go to school for <laughs> trained for this but when you have a situation that your community is in where they have a valid concern over a decision made in the game that affects all players it's probably not a good idea to <laughs> dismiss those concerns oh man i could not agree more that was <laughs> yes absolutely probably not the best response in uh in in what happened with the whole situation 100%. But anyway, I encourage you guys to watch the rest of Creek's video. He did a great job. It's an awesome perspective on someone that does not play the game 24 hours a day like most of us do. And here's the thing, gamers. Did they have to give rainbow shiny titanics to these exploiters? Probably not. I mean, that's the most rare pet that you could possibly get in this game. I mean, it goes for over 70 to 80 rainbow titanics i mean that's wild those are so incredibly expensive and i just think that the the pay was a little bit too much for that on top of that the explainers wanted real money for the situation they didn't even want the pets inside a pet simulator 99 the devs decided to give them a rainbow shiny and they didn't even ask for that 
they much rather just get regular cash and if i'm being honest gamers that would have been a much better situation for pet sim 99 overall and it would have caused less drama because it wouldn't have broken any market whatsoever they just would have been out you know however much money they could have agreed upon but you know what gamers there is some light at the end of the tunnel because check this out turns out that the exploiters are not all bad and they do actually understand the whole entire situation within the community so 660p is one of the exploiters that actually got one of the shiny rainbow titanics said this inside of the big games discord d2 vid we realized that we were banned and unbanned to wipe the agonies talented is still banned and we want to know why to, or receive an unban also considering all the feedback from the community what about creating a titanic white balloon and deleting all rainbow shinies that way we are not destroying the value of consistently big contributors to the game causing them to want to leave that is extremely admirable i've, I've got to commend the guy for actually saying this i understand that many youtubers and partners are upset about the titanics we were given so our big suggestion along with winrocks agreed to it was to create a titanic white balloon cat and after reading this i gotta give the guy a round of applause because that's actually a very big win for this entire situation and if you guys want to know how to make tons of gems in pet sim 99 click this video right here because i guarantee it'll help you guys out other than that guys enjoy yourselves and i'll see you tomorrow